When we're battling against chronic front-sided knee pain, we really want to avoid terminal knee flexion as much as possible, especially when terminal knee flexion is coupled with increased loading. So the two main marquee movement patterns of the lower body are going to be the squat pattern, but also the single leg lunging pattern. Now, not all squats and not all lunges are created the same, especially as it pertains to protecting a vulnerable knee. A more vertical tibial angle is going to be a more pain-free vertical tibial angle. So I'm going to turn to the side here, and predominantly when people have trouble with squats, their knees come super far out forward, and a lot of stress is put through here. We can change the tibial angle here by having a more posterior chain dominant squat pattern with a more vertical tip, something that would be more along the lines of this squat pattern. The same exact thing could be said for lunges. Notoriously, we've done forward lunges where the knee comes way out over the toes and we have a huge amount of flexion under loading here. We can monitor these positions with a reverse lunge variation with a vertical tibial angle to maintain a little bit more of a down angle at the torso, but also a vertical tibial angle to put more emphasis on the back side of the body as opposed to the front side of the body. Keep those tibias vertical and you'll have a great amount of success training through knee pain.